Capricorns, welcome back to my channel and welcome all my new Cappies in the building. Let's see what you're currently not aware of. We already got two cards. Um, any information you need will be listed in the description, so just check there and leave a comment and let me know how this resonated. But first three cards that we have, we have the Sacred Temple, we have Commitment, and we have a Fragmented Energy here. Okay. Hmm. So what you're not aware of, there could be some sort of blessing that comes through in terms of relocation or you getting some sort of new home. There could be some sort of commitment that you're making um, in the near future or good news in terms of some sort of application you may have put in uh, where you are able to move in or relocate. And this could be finally giving you a chance to break free from maybe a living environment that took a lot of energy out of you. Maybe you hated where you lived or maybe you stayed in the same home that maybe you and an ex-husband or ex-wife may have shared or a boyfriend or girlfriend. Or again, it just could be you committing to also just relocating where or committing to like a different path in your journey after feeling like your energy has been taken from for way too long. Another thing I'm picking up on what you're not aware of. And you guys being committed to your goals or whatever you're trying to accomplish within the next couple of months or so, you could be receiving a lot of support from the angelic realm and it may not necessarily look like it to you, but there could be a lot of support. Oh, look, we have happy success. Yeah, what you're not aware of is you have some beautiful opportunities to uh, yet to come or some happy energy in the future in terms of you successfully getting out of a cycle of sadness or feeling drained or focusing on the wrong things. Or your energy being pulled away from you. Let's keep going, Capricorns. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. What are they currently not aware of? I got the King of Swords in reverse. I have the Ten of Wands. So right off the bat, somebody may not be able to be trusted. Okay, strong air sign energy. Okay, if not an air sign, somebody who may have lied to you before or continuously tells lies or leave certain pieces of information out of the things that they tell you. Uh, what you're not aware of is they could still be up to these antics of telling lies or not being all the way forthright about things. Another thing you may not be aware of, somebody who you could have cut off because of lying, they could be having a really hard time and beating themselves down actually about the fact that they may have did this to you and may not have access to you anymore. So they could be feeling the wrath of you cutting ties, you deciding that you don't want to deal with them anymore because of this dishonesty. Hmm. Another thing that you may not be aware of, some of you guys, the fact that you try to do everything on your own is the reason why you could be stressed out right now. Like you could be this type of person where it's like, okay, I'm not going to ask anyone for help. I don't want to ask anyone for help because I can do it on my own. But in this time frame, especially if you're moving or you're doing anything drastic in your life, you could be needing some sort of support during this time frame. And it may, maybe right now is not the time for you to just go into the space of, I'm just gonna do it all on my own. Another thing that you may not be aware of, there could be this psychological issue either on your end or your person's end in terms of things that you guys have both been through together. So when I say this, the reason why your relationship could be having certain challenges that it just seems like you guys can't get past. The issue could stem from you not all the way forgiving them for maybe lying or cheating or not being forthright about certain things um, or vice versa. Or there could even be a lack of closure too that could be keeping you guys from moving forward. Capricorns. Capricorns. 
So we got the Six of Wands, we got the Ace of Swords, and I got the Star card. Another thing that you may not be aware of, you could have a Gemini, Libra Aquarius, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, who could really want your attention at times, or want to know if they still could have you, if they could. So that's why they could reach out to you at the most random times. So use discernment in terms of like the people who get in contact with you, the randomness around how they get in contact with you and their level of consistency in that. Are they just reaching out to you today just to see, you know, what you're doing today? Or is it them genuinely caring about you and, and keeping that consistent line of communication? Hmm. interesting another thing that i'm picking up on what you may not be aware of some of you have mentally decided that maybe some sort of move that you want to make in terms of like maybe starting a business or starting some sort of social media brand or something you may have already kind of decided that mentally this isn't going to be as fulfilling and maybe that's why you haven't been as consistent this also just speaks to you having people around you who could be crapping on your ideas and you need to make sure you surround yourself with more supportive people so that you can be, you know, in the space of having faith for your ideas and your dreams. You also need to be careful who you're telling your ideas to because they could be affecting your thought process as well. Now, let's pull two last cards. What are my Capricorns currently not aware of about themselves, their journey? people around them so we have the web weaver synchronicity divine intelligence and cause and effect and we also have the altar priestess preparation prayer and sacred rituals let me put this here so yeah what you also may not be aware of i think that your spirit guides are speaking to you directly or have been speaking to you directly through signs Okay, through you coming across things at the right time. Hmm. Also, every action you take during this time frame is going to have a reaction or is going to have an outcome. So you may need to take that into account uh, more often during this time frame. But not only that, with the altar pr prince princess, why did I want to say that? Altar priestess <laughs> showing up here. Um... Another thing you may not be aware of, certain prayers that you could have are going to be answered during this time frame. Now, how it's answered and if it's answered the way that you may want it to be answered is a totally different thing. But your prayers are going to be answered in the divine's own way and have been being answered. But you may need to release the need to have like a certain outcome in mind because it may not be the way that you envision it exactly and that's okay but this is what i see i hope that this reading was helpful and that you've enjoyed and i will see you in the next one